from 5 News, I'm meteorologist Stephen Elmore. This is your 5 Plus extended forecast. A bit cooler today. We had that cold front come through yesterday. It's been windy today as well. Winds coming up from the north or down from the north around 15 to 25 miles per hour for today. That's why it's a bit cooler, but it's also increasing our wildfire risk. We are stuck in a very dry period. And when we look at the 10 day forecast coming up in a little bit, you'll see that there's little to no rain chances to talk about to talk about for the foreseeable future. So the combination of lower humidity, stronger wind gusts, that's going to increase that wildfire danger. And we have more added to our burn ban list across northwest Arkansas for and into the river valley as well. Again, no rain chances to talk about at least what models are suggesting until mid October. We are not only dealing it with this week for the first week of October, but heading into next week as well. We continue this dry stretch. That cold front came in again. It takes a little bit of time for cooler air to sink down to the surface. So tomorrow morning is when you're really going to feel the difference outside Northwest Arkansas. You might need to grab that light jacket as you head out the door. Temperatures will be starting off into those mid 40s for our Wednesday morning across the River Valley into those upper 40s and low 50s for tomorrow. By the time we get to the afternoon, comfortable for our Wednesday, only topping out into those upper 70s and low 80s, but temperatures even start to warm back up by the time we get into the afternoon. Here's a look across the River Valley. Daytime highs back up into those low 80s for tomorrow. Still a very comfortable day, not as strong as winds either. Wind gusts only going to peak up around maybe 10 miles per hour for tomorrow. Really just going to see another day full of sunshine and it's going to still going to be a little bit cooler for our Wednesday. Here's a look at that burn ban list. Madison County was added yesterday. Now Logan County was added for today, and we said this yesterday. We said if these trends continue to track further where it's looking like there's going to be low humidity, strong winds and no rain chances, we wouldn't be surprised if we saw more counties added to the burn ban list. So we got one more today in Logan County. Won't be surprised if we see others in the foreseeable future if we continue diving into this drought like conditions outside that are favorable for those wildfire risks like we are in right now. Here's a look at the drought monitor. Today's Wednesday. We're going to get an update for tomorrow or excuse me. Today's Tuesday. We're going to get an update for Thursday uh, on, the, on those drought like conditions right now. Still across northwest Arkansas. We are seeing uh, starting to see some drought concerns been seeing it the past couple of weeks dry right now. Really the driest zones are in northern Bend County, Northern Carroll County, the rest of the River Valley, not too bad right now. September was our 12th driest month since 1893 across Northwest Arkansas. Since 1893 across the River Valley, it was our 21st driest September ever on record. So why isn't the River Valley showing up on the drought monitor? We had a very abnormally wet summer where just uh, in August alone, we had over seven inches of rainfall in July across the River Valley. We were almost two and a half inches into the surplus when it comes to our rainfall totals. So we had lots of rain between June, July into August. And so now we're eating up that surplus right now, still in the green across the River Valley when it comes to how much rainfall we're supposed to have in the year. But that surplus is running low and as we continue into this dry uh, pattern that we're in, it's going to continue to dwindle down until we start seeing the river valley showing up more and more on the drought monitor. Northwest Arkansas, not as much rainfall over the summer. Uh, it was exactly it was around around 31 inches of rain through uh, August into September and now into October for the year of 2024 so far. That's a little bit behind of where we're supposed to be right around four inches into the red when it comes to the whole year of rainfall total. So that's why we're starting to see some concerns across Northwest Arkansas, across the River Valley, still in the green right now. But if we continue on through this period, we're going to continue to see those dry light conditions. It's not only the lack of rainfall that's increasing our wildfire danger, but it's also the low humidity. Yes. Yes, it feels amazing outside. Dew point values only into those 30s and 40s. We got a nice breeze coming from the north. Plenty of sunshine out there as well. It is comfortable as all get out.
but it is really uh, not in favor for those wildfire concerns. Lower humidity is going to increase that wildfire danger. Again, dry over the next several days. It's also going to get warmer as well. We warm up pretty much the rest of this work week into Friday. Temperatures climbing back up into those upper 80s and low 90s. Another cold front comes in by the time we get to the weekend. That's going to cool off temperatures just a bit. And then another cold front comes in by the time we get to Monday. So we've had three cold fronts this week. One passed through yesterday, two more to come, and none of them are bringing any rain. Just going to bring some cooler air with it. So temperatures expected to warm up through Friday, get a weak cold front to come in, heading into the weekend, and that's when you don't even start to see that blue. Still seeing uh, the, that pink and red color where it's still going to be above average when it comes to our temperatures. It's just going to feel a little bit cooler heading into this weekend. Reinforcing cold front comes in by the time we get to the start of the week. Afternoon highs over the next several days, again warming up through the end of the work week, back up into those low 90s. Cold front comes in for the weekend. That's going to bring some relief. And then a secondary cold front comes in to the start of next week, and that's going to really start to bring in the cooler air. Unfortunately, again, two cold fronts still to come this week. No rain chances whatsoever. Uh, getting really unlucky when it comes to those drought like conditions across the river rally temperatures warming back up into those low 90s by the time we get to Friday and then we're only warm for one day. Unfortunately, that's coming for uh, all those football games coming up this Friday. It's going to be our hottest day of the week. Once again, sunshine, not too bad in the way of humidity. Dew point value should be around those uh, mid to upper 50s, low 60s. So just a little bit of that mugginess sneaking back in but still going to be our warmest day of the week. Still need to hydrate throughout the week as well. Cold front comes in for the weekend. Another cold, cold front comes in by the time we get to the start of next week. And those daytime highs, Monday, Tuesday, starting off next week, only into those low 80s should be a nice start to next work week. Morning temperatures again for tomorrow morning. This is something that we haven't talked about yet either. Uh, Wednesday morning, you might need that light jacket across northwest Arkansas. Again, it takes some time for the cooler air to sink down to the surface. So once we get into tomorrow morning, that's when you're really going to start to notice the effects from the cold front that we had uh, overnight last night. That's when it's going to be the coolest outside. We'll warm up once we get to the afternoon and morning temperatures climbing back up to those mid to upper 50s throughout the rest of the week. And then to next week, we get those 40s right back into the forecast for those morning temperatures across the River Valley. A uh, nice morning for our Wednesday morning. We'll warm up throughout the rest of the week and into the weekend. And then by the time we get to early next week, we're starting to see that cooler air coming back once again. Cool air is nice, but we need the rain. And look at these rain chances throughout the rest of this week through the weekend and into next week. Nothing whatsoever to talk about. Every day is pretty much sunshine. It's going to be filled with above average temperatures for this time of year. Now that we're in October, should be a little bit cooler than what we're seeing this week. Shouldn't really be talking about those low 90s still, but unfortunately we are later on this week. Should be a, be a little bit cooler and we should see a little bit more in the way of some rainfall as we continue to see this dry stretch the rest of the week. Above average temperatures, like we mentioned, over the next six to 10 days. And then take a look at the precipita precipitation outlook for us. You see, it's not only us, most, almost most of the United States at this point, going to be seeing a very dry pattern over the next six to 10 days. And if we look at even at the longer outlook, this is eight to 14 days. Take a look at this date. This takes us all the way out until the middle of October. Above average temperatures sticking around, and when it comes to the rain, not much to talk about whatsoever. Unfortunately, uh, this is we talk about the drought conditions, how that's going to affect agriculture. What it's also going to affect is the fall foliage. And when we're getting into the fall season, people get excited to see the colors. This is not great for it. This is going to really turn those leaves from green straight to uh, just dying and withering away, turning to that brown color. So might not be seeing uh, those vibrant colors as much this year. 10 day forecast for you. It's going to look like it's broken, but it's not. Plenty of sunshine pretty much every day the rest of this week through the weekend into next week. Got multiple cold fronts in between those days as well. But we're going to see temperatures warming up by the end of the work week. Then we get to the weekend, get a weak cold front to come in. That's going to bring down temperatures just a bit. Now the one comes in for the start of the week. That's going to really bring down temperatures. Morning temperatures starting off into those 40s on Tuesday of next week and then heading into tomorrow morning again, that's going to be starting off into the 40s as well. Anytime we start to talk about the 40s, that's kind of like the light jacket weather that you may say, hey, it's a little bit chilly outside this morning. It'll warm up this afternoon. 
Uh, I'd say that next cold front that comes in for next week, daytime highs, where we're talking about Monday and Tuesday there. They're just only topping out into those upper 70s. As we get into later on into the week, temperatures start to warm back up into those low 80s. Across the River Valley, we'll see those daytime highs warming back up into those low 90s heading into Friday. Cold front comes in for the weekend. That's going to help cool down things briefly. And then we cool down again heading into Monday and Tuesday. Again, two more cold fronts to come this week. No rain chances whatsoever. Pretty much the rest of this week through the weekend, early next week or throughout most of next week looks like right now plenty of sunshine almost every day so the first chance that we have at some rain we are going to be going crazy uh, for these forecasts because we need some rain back into the forecast and it's just not looking like we're going to have any anytime soon from five news i'm meteorologist stephen elmore that's your five plus extended forecast